After several appearances, Volpino was finally outed as an Akuma, and not a miraculous wielder. Her possessed item, a foxtail necklace by Gabrielle Designs, first debuted in his autumn collection six months before Volpina appeared. Less than eight months before the real Fox Miraculous Wielder debuted, the Gabrielle brand could sell burger wrappers as hot couture, and people would still buy it. The fox tail is made out of resin and set in 18 karat gold. Tacky. So what possesses a world-renowned designer like Gabrielle to create such a tacky piece? Even Marinette thinks it's awful and she's his biggest fan. Curiously, it's a fairly accurate replica of the miraculous in its active state. Hmm. So the real question is, how did Gabrielle Legresse know what the miraculous would look like? Lot of cameras. Note to self. Never transform in front of the Agrest mansion. <gasps> Is that so the plot thickens there he goes to no doubt play with the akuma sighted at pont cardinae 17th arrondissement that gives us plenty of time this room is ridiculous so then what is chat noir to adrian agrest his confidant his lover anything is possible his father or Occam's Razor. Chant Noir is Adrian Agrest. Either way, could Chat's presence here be the link? Is he why Gabrielle knows what the active miraculous looks like? Pfft, nice browsing history, Agrest. <laughs> now I know where all the hits from my blog are coming from. There's no design work here. Nothing but schoolwork, games, cat memes, and Photos of Ladybug. Oh, and his mother. That, that might be a different mystery. But the trash is always a good place to look for clues. Or cabin bear wrappers. No scuff marks. And no skateboard for that matter. Adrian has mentioned playing basketball. But wouldn't that imply teammates? Friends other than Nino. Lord, it's even organized by the Dewey Decimal System. What's this? A distinct absence of Voltaire in the philosophy section. These books aren't Adrian's. Other than the contents on his PC and his consoles, nothing's here. This whole room is just a display. It's an elaborate zoo enclosure for a teenage boy. Adrian's relationship with his father. The disappearance of his mother. <laughs> the boy's got more issues than Vogue. He's probably Chat Noir. <sighs> and he's got nothing to do with the Fox Miraculous. If I'm gonna find out what the link between Gabrielle and the Fox Miraculous is, I'll need to go into his design files. Better safe than sorry. I'll need to wear a disguise. Given the amount of control he exerts over, well, everything, the files I'm looking for won't be hard to find. Damn! Password locked! He might be predictable enough that it's likely to be something like a birthday or... or his late wife's maiden name. Or... Ah. There was a father who had a son. The password was his name! Oh! Collection out on you. Design folio. Hang on. Those symbols. I've seen them somewhere before. It was a dead lead. A blurry 19th century photo of a 17th century manuscript. Where did Gabrielle get such a clear scan? And why ignore its historic context? All five sub miraculars were part of the Autumn Collection. If Gabrielle didn't know what he was looking at, why make meaningless ugly jewelry in the first place? It's not like they were contextualized for the collection. They were just replicas. If we follow the conclusion that he does know... Again, why make jewelry without context? Why only the sub-miraculous and not the big two? Who would know their value? Unless... 
Could he have been looking for someone who could recognize the other miraculous? Adrian? Uh what were you doing in there? Uh, I... What do you have behind your back? <clears throat> I needed to access this flash drive. There's a PDF on here that I need for homework, but my computer won't open it. So I thought I'd try it on yours. It must have been corrupt because it didn't open there either. I guess I... I, I guess I'll just ask Nino if he has a good copy to email me. I'll, I'll be getting on with my homework now, so good night, flawless. <sighs> Gabrielle doesn't know. If Gabrielle does know... Ugh. He didn't include the big two. The collection came just before Ladybug and Chat Noir appeared. Does this mean he didn't know they existed? Or that he did, and, and that it was a message to them? Regardless of who he's trying to provoke or summon, the question remains. Why would Gabrielle Agrest need to get into contact with superheroes? Oh, too many assumptions. There's no reason to think that he has some kind of vested interest in the miraculous. Maybe he just likes ugly jewelry. Yes, a world-renowned fashion designer with no taste. I hope for Adrian's sake that's true. Hello, what is this? Marinette's Valentine unsigned. Adrian's been holding on to it for nine months? Marinette's scarf. Mistakenly attributed. What else? Marinette's autograph. Oh, Marinette's lucky charm. I guess Adrian's room is not so empty after all. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Valerie Pierce for new videos and updates. Stay magical and may courage be your wings.